Sadhguru, it's, that's very powerful inside. I just walked inside into, into the space where all the brahmacharis are chanting. There's something special about their chants. It's kind of, it kind of hits you right here. It's kind of energizing and power. So, what is it? What's a brahmachari? I mean, we understand in Hinduism, brahmachari means denial. And you often said it's not about denial. It's about gaining something without denying it. So, tell me about it. <laughs> and I have to say, there are both men and women in there. It's not like... They're not like monks, that all the women have been put up in a nunnery and the monks are in, in some monastery. It's... they're all there. For example, somebody is climbing out to climb Mount Everest, mm. okay? He prepares for years, probably for a lifetime he prepares. And then he is in the harshest of climate, denying himself every pleasure of life, of comfort, of family, of society, everything that normally people want to have, he denies himself all that to climb the mountain. Mm. But do you really believe he's denying himself? Or is he making another possibility which you can never imagine real in his life? So that's brahmacharya. The word brahmacharya literally means, brahman means the ultimate, charya means the path. You are on the path of the ultimate. Or in other words, you are somebody who is not willing to settle for small things. So anybody who has created anything worthwhile in their lives have naturally denied themselves a lot of simple pleasures other people are having. Mm. When you are making a film, mm. maybe you are not eating well, maybe you are not sleeping well, are you taking your afternoon nap, sitting with your wife, enjoying the siesta, having dinner with them, with your family, are you doing all this? Everything you deny yourself because you want to create something, isn't it? Isn't that true with every man or woman who has created something worthwhile in their life? Mm -hmm. The same with brahmacharya, they are on the path of the ultimate. Because of that, their attention is not diverted to other things that people think are valuable. So, what's the ultimate? <laughs> See here, if you look around, there's brick and stone, or rather mud and stone and trees and plants. This is creation. But now if you look at this, from the same soil this tree is coming, throwing out, right now there are no flowers but it throws out wonderful fragrant flowers. From the same soil a mango tree will come and throw out mangoes. From the same soil you have come and making movies <laughs> From the same soil I have come and I am a guru. So there is something here which can make this mud into a tree, into a fruit, into a filmmaker, into a guru and into a billion other things. Don't you want to know what it is? Don't you want to experience what it is? And if it was somewhere in heaven, I'm not interested. But if you eat a banana, that banana becomes a human being within you. There is something here which can transform a rice grain or a banana or a piece of bread into a human being. This is the ultimate source mm -hmm. of creation. Yeah. Don't you want to know what it is? Don't you want to experience? Don't you want to know the power of it, the beauty of it? the joy of it. So these are people who have had a taste of that and now they want all of it. They don't care whether they eat or not. They don't care whether they drink, smoke and enjoy other simple physical pleasures that other people are addicted to. They have had a taste of the ultimate. Now they want it all, they won't settle for anything less. Okay, now I understand that till you've experienced it, it's, it's, it's an experiential... Uh, sensation or more than a sensation. Talk about the ultimate. What See, my, is the ultimate? My work as a guru is just to give you a taste of that ultimate, so that your life goes into your tizzy and you go crazy and you want to go for it. You've had a taste, now you can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> so your, your work is to drive people mad? Yes. Right, okay. Because if people sleep through their life in the name of comfort, in the name of security, they're wasting their life. They must go all the way. This is not my desire, it's their desire also, because today you have a desire to fulfill this. If that happens, you want the next one and the next one and the next one. If you carefully look at your desiring process itself, you will see you are not willing to settle for anything limited, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There is something within you which doesn't like boundaries, there is something within you which is longing for the ultimate always. 
So this is not my idea, this is not my philosophy that you should seek ultimate. You're anyway seeking ultimate in unconscious ways. I am saying, if you seek in unconscious ways, you'll always remain frustrated and the chances of finding it are remote. It's better to seek what you want in a conscious way, in a focused way. So brahmacharis are those people, they're also seeking just what you're seeking, but they're seeking it one hundred percent consciously. So, what is the ultimate? Is there <laughs> other words? I mean, I'm looking for words. What is ultimate? See, whatever we look at, we can only look at the way you understand it right now, okay? If I say something which is not in your understanding, now I'll be compelling you to believe me or disbelieve me. I don't want to go into such obscenities. I think it's obscene to demand that you must believe me. Okay. So right now in your life, do you see that you, when you stand here, what you call as myself, actually you gathered over a period of time? Yeah. Hmm? In terms of your mind, yeah. it's a huge heap of impressions. In terms of your body, it is a heap of food that you have eaten. Mm. So you gathered this. What you gather can be yours. Can it ever be you? No. Then what is the you beyond yours? What's the... So, you're existing here yeah. without even knowing what is me. Yeah. So this me, right now, we will go this way. This me is the ultimate. This me is not a simple me. This me can make a ra uh, you know, a piece of bread into a human being, a banana into a human being. This is not a simple thing. This same me, which can make a banana into a human being, also created the whole cosmic scape. It's not a different me. So, the choice is just this. Either you can exist here just as a piece of creation, or you can exist here as the very creator himself. That's the ultimate, for now. There's more to it, but for now. <laughs>